That's my line. Brought to you by Allstate, whose policies now include protection for your home, your family, as well as your car. You're in good hands with Allstate. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line? First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Just last night, our guest panelist was entertaining the President of the United States. And tonight, we're the lucky ones. Entertaining us and our guest panelist for tonight, Mr. Joey Bishop. Thank you, Bobby. To my left, a young lady who leaves tomorrow morning for uh, Palm Beach, where she opens March the 6th at the Royal Pontiana Theater and a show entitled Old Acquaintance, Miss Arlene Francis. <laughs> and now, by popular demand, we welcome back our darling favorite, all suntanned, all rested, and full of... You'll see in just a minute. Give him a wild welcome, Bennett Surf. Thank you. Well, for the last three weeks, I've had a wonderful time with my good friends down in Miami Beach watching the show. But it's really fun to be back with these two beautiful creatures and Joey and our <laughs> great panel moderator, Mr. John Charles Davis. I must say it's very nice to have Ben at home again and at the risk of embarrassing Joey Bishop. In Washington last night, they had the White House uh, Correspondents' Dinner for President Kennedy, and Joey presided over a program that was as fine a program as I've ever seen of entertainment, and he was the star. He was just wonderful. And in these days, and I think Joey would agree, we have in President Kennedy a man who is very, very fast with a quip and, uh, and with a turn of phrase, and Joey had real competition last night all the way, too. John, Congratulations. John, Thanks. maybe we could get... Um... Maybe you could persuade Joey to tell us the line he said when they wheeled the piano out last night on the stage. Yeah, go ahead, Joey. Just... Well, I was... Well, let me set the scene, actually. That, that, that Joey was, was presiding over the program, and at, very early in the program, they had to bring a piano out on stage, and Joey is standing out in front of the microphone. You take it from there. I, I just turned around, and I saw this piano coming out, and I said, good heavens, don't tell me he's back in Washington again. <laughs> Well, it was a wonderful evening, a great, I must say, a great credit to the White House Correspondents Association, and it's lovely to have all of you here in the theater and you folks who are watching at home. Bennett's come back fully rested, we hope, because we're going to tire him out tonight if we can. We have some interesting occupations and some very nice people who brought them to the theater. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the show. And we'll meet our first challenger after this word. And now let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? <laughs> Debbie? Debbie Drake? Is that right? Yeah. Is it uh, Miss or Mrs. Yes. Drake? Miss Drake, and where are you from, Miss Drake? Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Fine. Well, it's nice to have you with us. May I present the panel? Miss Drake, you will you join me over here, please, ma'am? You know how we keep score on What's My Line? Yes. All right, then we'll let the audience in the theater and the folks at home know exactly what your line is. All right, panel, we can tell you that Miss Drake is salaried and deals in a service, and since Bennett's been loafing for all these weeks, Bennett, you go to work. Miss Drake, if you're not in show business, you ought to be. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to ask, do you work for a non-profit-making organization? No. 
one down and nine to go, and sometimes you don't get enough vacation even when you think that you've had a long vacation. It's nice to have you back, Bob. Miss Gilgallan? Uh, Miss Drake, uh, could anyone on this panel avail himself or herself of your service? Yes. Yes, I could. Uh, would uh, we feel better or be better off as a result of this? Yes, you would. It's a fun service, then. Thank you, pardon. It's a fun service? Yes. Well, I would say, Dorothy, because I don't want to to mislead you in any way, I would say anybody you don't want who to chose... Me. You want to give me a no. No, I don't want to give you a no, but at the same time, the word fun, you know, encompasses so many meanings that I don't want you to be misled by it. I would say that anybody who chose to avail himself or herself of Miss Drake's services, we can assume would have some degree of fun in, in um, using these services. We could? Okay. Um, Miss Drake, do you work in an enclosure? Yes. Would you consider that you work indoors? Yes. You work in a building? Yes. Do you work in the daytime? Not all the time. But sometimes okay. it, it could it, it could move either you in either. You can area. work at night too. Yes. Uh, do you come in contact with people? No. No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Bishop. Well, first of all, I've got to say, if you work day and night, you've got lousy hours. <laughs> 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 is it um, is it the type of service where you represent someone? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. I would like to rule out that um, you have anything to do with transportation. You do not have anything to do with transportation, no. huh? All right. Um, do you touch in? You said you do not come in contact with the people. Do people watch you when you work? Yes. Uh, is there anything uh, entertaining about what you, what you are doing that they would, be, they would rather watch you than the boy next door, and why not? <laughs> well, could be. Yeah. Could I be. would say here that while the first purpose would not be to entertain, that to perform the service most effectively, we would have to agree that ingredients of entertainment were involved. Uh, do you wear something other than what you are presently wearing yes. on your job? Would it be considered in any way a costume or uniform? Yes. Uh, is it uh, in any way more revealing? No, that wouldn't be... <laughs> yes. Mm, uh, it is. Uh... Wait a minute, where do you work? <laughs> You can tell him later. What I want to know is... <laughs> would this revealing costume be in the area... I know the area it covers, but would it be... <laughs> anything like a bathing suit? Uh, anything well, what, like it. Anything like a bathing... I would think... Well, something we would... brief. I would say... Is it brief? Yes, yeah, sort of. Is it brief? Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Do you have to have any, any training for what you do? Yes. Uh, do you have to be, uh, have a certain amount of dexterity for what you do? I would think, I would say that this, it would not be unreasonable to consider that this particular attribute would be useful in performing the service which Miss Drake wants to perform. Do you use anything other than yourself in your work in this service? Is there anything that you handle? Yes, to a degree. Uh, is it something that you have in your hands? Well, if you don't know what you've got on your hands, <laughs> you're in big trouble. Yeah. yeah, I would say that it, it, uh, it would have some relationship to the hands because its utilization would require the use of the I hands. I see. Is it anything in the sporting area? Yes. In a general sense, we would say it was in the sporting area, yes. Uh, is there anything like bats or balls? No. No balls. bats, no. no no balls. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Struck out. Mr. Drake, uh, 
I know the famous Indianapolis Speedway is uh, one of the features of Indianapolis. Have you got anything whatever to do with the automobile races or the things that go on at the Speedway there? No. That's five down and five to go, Dorothy Gilgallon. Now, Miss Drake, uh, people watch you, is that correct? Yes. Uh, do they watch you through some medium of communication? Yes. Such as television? Yes. Uh, do you do television commercials? Mm. I would say here that I believe, to be honest, that Miss Drake might do television commercials, but this is not the basic service that uh, is supplied. Well, do you do something else on television? Mm -hmm. Yes. You communicate with people through television? Yes. Uh, well, golly. And you need training. Um, <laughs> And you hold something in your hands. Boy. Um, and you're in the sport. Do you, oh, you're in the sporting area. In a do general you, sense. Well, do you, do you communicate some information to the people who are watching you? Yes. Is it information about sports? Mm, no. No, not specifically. Six down and four to go, Mr. Bishop. Is it in the form of uh, exercise? Yes. Yes. Uh, do you give exercises on television to yes. people? Yes, that's it. I think we're going to go. Miss Drake works for television station WISH in Indianapolis, but is syndicated through 50 cities in the country, and it's here in New York on Channel 5, I believe. Is it not at 7.30? 7.30 in the morning? 7, 7 to 7 to 7 30 morning and she teaches um, you know general exercises for good health reducing exercises on television did miss drake get this figure from the exercises uh did you get this figure yes from... i used to be before and after pictures oh <laughs> used to be in before and after pictures well that'll do that thank you very much miss drake nice to have you with us and what's my life Very good. Let's see what we can do with the second challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Lucille. Trout double T, right? <laughs> Is it Miss or Mrs. Trout? Mrs. Mrs. Trout, and where are you from? From Benton, Arkansas. Benton, Arkansas. Mrs. Trout, may I present our panel? Would you join me over here, Mrs. Trout? You know how we keep score? Yes, All right, we'll let the audience in the theater and the folks at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, we'll tell you that Mrs. Trout is salaried and deals in a product. And we'll begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Mrs. Trout, is this a useful product? Yes, it is. Is it a product I might use? Yes. Is it a product that I would um, have in the house? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Trout, is this product now or has it at any time been alive? No. Two down and eight to go, Ms. Gilgallon. Well, is it too big to have in the house? No. Nope. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Bishop. Is it too big to have outside? <laughs> Is it a product that would be found outside of the house? Yes. Would it be found in the immediate vicinity of the house? Could be. It could be. It would depend entirely on circumstances. <laughs> John, you son of a gun. Is it uh, a, a product that would be confined to uh, one part of the country? as opposed to another part of the country. No. no. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Is it a product that has any metal in it? Yes. Does it have any moving parts? Yes. It can be moved from place to place? Yes. It can be moved from place to place, but it would be unfair to suggest to you that it was instantly mobile. <laughs> it can be moved. But it is not not moved because it's too large, because you said it wasn't too large to have That's in the right. house. That's right. I just didn't want you to feel that we were saying yes in the sense of immediate mobility. It can be moved, yes. but it isn't meant to be moved immediately from one position to another. 
You bet. Um, <laughs> is it anything an individual might get on or in? No. No. Not at least if they... Well, never mind. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Trout, would this product of yours be used by any chance by people connected with the law in some way? With people with connected with law. the law, and would it be used by, by people that, I mean, connected with the law in, in some in a way? prison or a jail house of some sort? Might no. it be used? Oh, thanks for the clarification. That's six down and four to go, <laughs> Mr. Gellin. <laughs> Now, come on, Mrs. Trout. You said Arlene might use this, right? Yeah. Yes. But she wouldn't use it in the house. That would be silly. <laughs> right? That's if she were to try to use it in the house, yes. And it doesn't have much mobility outside the house, huh? Well, if it were outside the house and Arlene were using it, it would be standing still. Would it be standing still? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would it be? Yes. Would Arlene approach it? Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to find out what it is. <laughs> but she wouldn't get in or out or onto it, right? <laughs> she would just approach it and do something. Would she do something? Yeah. Yes. Would she touch it? Yes. Yeah. Would she dial? Dial? No. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Bishop. So far, I've got you selling pogo sticks. <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, John, I, I, I need a job, but I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, it has metal in it. It has metal in it. I have an idea. Uh, I, I, would it be more... Uh, confined to a farm. No, that's all right. You're off the hook now, Joey. You can just yes. relax. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Is there anything at all dangerous about this? No. No. Nine down and one to go, Mr. Sir. Could this possibly be used by any branch of the government service? Could it be yes. used it be by used? any branch? Well, I would think uh, it Would it could be, be? I gave up penal institutions. I'm coming now to the United States mail. Might it be used by the post office in any way? Is it like a mailbox or something like that? Like a mailbox or something like No, it's not like a mailbox. On that one, you've got yourself 10 down and nothing to go. But I must congratulate Bennett because he's moving into the area. Actually, uh, Mrs. Trout sells parking meters. and works as one of the best salesmen that the Duncan Parking Meter Company in Chicago has and has Arkansas, all of Arkansas, and Memphis as her territory. Is that right? That's right. And a fine salesman, too. And go over and sell one to Bennett. Oh, <laughs> nice to have you with us. Sir. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from us. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which, as the years have so often told you, the panel is always blindfolded. Are the blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, sir. Good. Will you enter Mystery Challenger and sign in, please? Panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery guest, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin with um, Joey Bishop. Are we safe to assume from the applause you got that you're in show business? Well, I try to be. Miss Francis? <laughs> Are you in motion pictures? Uh, sometimes. Mr. Sir? Do you ever uh, do any singing in the, in the work that you do? Well, every once in a while, I get a chance to blow out the pipes a little bit, yes. <laughs> Miss Gilgallon? Nice. Oh. It, sorry. Um, ha Golly. Have you uh, a hit in the top 40 right now? Uh, I got to answer a yes to that, ma'am. Mr. Bishop? 
If your finger was sore tomorrow, would you be out of work? <laughs> yeah. You know. I don't understand the question, sir. Uh, well, I have a mind a fellow who snaps his finger, and I thought maybe if his finger was sore, he wouldn't be able to work tomorrow. No, I'm not Frank Sinatra. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Are you one of the new, younger performers? Well, I am flattered by that lady, but I don't know that I'm one of the younger performers. <laughs> you don't know whether you no, are. I would think we would have to agree to a yes answer. The perennial youth, you know, is one of the great legends of our time. We all believe in it. Mr. Sir? Uh, are you at present starring in one of the uh, nightclubs in New York? Yes, sir. Are you Bobby Darren? Yes, sir. Ah! I think I think I should have gotten a yes answer there, John. <laughs> well, we were begging the issue because I suppose that in contemporary terms, Mac the Knife is as, as well known a record as the whole history of, of uh, making records has ever produced. But uh, we felt Joey would give too much away. It's not just back the knife, it's everything. Joey oh. was oh, right. Oh, no, I don't snap fingers on ballads, Dorothy. You Darcy. sure do, honey. <laughs> you sure do. You snap fingers when you can't get a table in a club. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I thought that, that uh, Bobby's takeoff of Bing was excellent. Yeah. Gee, the tone yeah. qualities are just it, it the same. It actually silenced me completely. <laughs> well, uh, you, you see, this is the thing. You could see Dorothy's face, but the, uh, the panel, the rest of the panel, it just hit Dorothy right between the eyes. She stopped for a minute and listened again. I might have to use it. <laughs> he has another big, very big hit out of uh, Up a Lazy River. Up a Lazy River. Thank you. Very snap fingers. I didn't snap once. Oh, come on. No, they had a, they had a Next trick. week, we will have a one-hour program, a documentary. <laughs> On whether fingers should be snapped. But one thing I want to do, if I may, Bobby, because... Oh, please, he needs it, honey. No, he... Well, he... <laughs> Let me say this, that Bobby needs it. Are you from internal it. revenue? <laughs> Bobby needs it uh, particularly tonight because uh, he's king of hearts in the current heart fund drive, and uh, this is all going to go to the yes. heart fund, so we tip all the cards over. That's why I need it. And Bobby, it's... Bring your bride with you tonight? Uh, no, I did not. She, she's at home watching the show. Now, uh, John, for $50, you can't expect the whole family to show up. <laughs> As I said earlier, Joey was great last night, and that's what he was doing last night all the time, too. It was a great... You, I'm sorry you weren't down there, by the way. They had Misha Elman and uh, Jerome Hines. Oh, it was a great... And two... And Misha Bishop. Two young folks who did... The Piero uh, Brothers. What, what was the name? The Piero Brothers. The Piero Brothers. It was a, I introduced it was a them great Bob show. and Ted. Yeah. <laughs> Bob and Ted. You got that very well. They, they were flinging clubs around the stage. And Joey stayed out there, way in the back, you know, where they couldn't get in with a club. Well, I must say, it's good to find out that uh, you're a young man, and if I may take the advantage of my years, I will. It's, it's good to find a young man of your years as interested in the heart fund drive as you are, because, as you know, it's a, an interest that runs the whole gamut of society and age makes no difference and you have uh, I think in becoming king of hearts of this drive given a lot of impetus to it that it needs and congratulations. Thank you John if I can raise a few dollars you know just with the use of, of my name I feel you know happy about it. No, I'm sure I'm sure you will raise a few dollars just for the use of your name. John, Thanks. Thank we you. mentioned nightclub but I don't think we mentioned that he was at the Copacabana. Did we mention that you we were just said no, I, I can't mention it, but... There has been a dreadful omission, which we will correct right now. <laughs> now, Bobby's at the Copacabana, but he's got so many things going that if we started... Oh, no, I, I, the most important thing was the $50 for the heart fund. For the heart thank fund. Thank you for the plug, Joey. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you. And that did it. John, Thanks thank very you. much, Bobby. Thanks. Nice to have had you with us. Thank you. And we'll be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. If the and once again, Joey, it's nice to have you with us. Thank you, John. Hope you'll it's be nice back real you. soon, and good night, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Good night, John. Good night, Joey. Come again. Good night. Thank you, Dorothy. Good night, Arlene, and good luck, Monster 6th in Thank Palm Beach. You. Thank you, Joey. Good night, Bennett. Nice good to night you to back. all my friends in Florida. And you, John. And good it's night. nice to have you home, Pop. Good night, Thank Bennett. You. Good night, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line. What's my
My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Cotton.